children may go to their class. And others, please listen to me. Let us pray. Lord God, we thank you for your gospel. Thank you, Lord God, for this day. Thank you for being part of your kingdom. And we are so thankful, Lord God, for you are our king. We celebrate that, Lord. Lord, we ask you, we ask you, continue, Lord God, to give us your knowledge and wisdom. Continue to strengthen us to be your, uh, to be your followers, to be your flock. Continue, Lord God, to lead us to where you can use us and you make us strong, Lord God, for your kingdom. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. I shared last time, brothers and sisters in Christ, that young people should look at Christianity or our Christian religion as something that makes sense. The core teaching of our Lord Jesus Christ is about love. Love with people around us. It makes sense. And so the very source of it is God. That is what the kingdom of the Messiah is all about. That is what the kingdom of God is all about. The kingdom of God is the kingdom of Jesus Christ, the Messiah, our Lord. Jesus said, My kingdom is not of this world. We may ask, what do you mean by not of this world? Well, brothers and sisters in Christ, nation wage war against nations and kingdom against kingdoms. That's the picture of kingdoms in this world. But Christ's kingdom is not like that. As Jesus said, if my kingdom were from this world, my followers would be fighting to keep me from being handed over to the Jews. It's about fighting. It's about defending. That's the kingdom of this world. But his kingdom is not of this world. Instead, his kingdom is about building life, sustaining life, not killing, but sustaining life. The concept, the idea, the picture of that kingdom is coming from above, from heaven, from God. It is about doing God's will as he prayed, as he as Jesus uh, taught us uh, how to pray, and we say in our prayer, and this is the only prayer that he taught us, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth. Not of this world, but for this world, brothers and sisters in Christ. We remember also in, in Jesus' prayer, he prayed that, God should protect us because we are not of this world, although we are in this world. So we are not of this world. So the kingdom of God is not of this world. It doesn't mean out of this world or not, not belong to this world, but from God for this. The kingdom has king. His kingdom is the opposite of this world. The opposite of the kingdom of this world. And so that kingdom has king. There is king in that kingdom. Who is the king in that kingdom? If the will of God and the kingdom of God should go together, brothers and sisters in Christ, the kingdom of God is not different from Jesus. It's the same thing. The kingdom of God and the will of God is not separated. So the kingdom of God and, and the kingdom of Jesus is the same thing. It is. The 
primary reason Jesus Christ. He came here to preach, to teach, and to proclaim that kingdom of God, bringing down the will of God into our midst, to teach us how to change ourselves, ourselves to be fitted to that kingdom. Remember, the kingdom is at hand, therefore you repent. That's what he said. Bringing down the will of God into our midst. And we people doing the love business of God. We are His kingdom. Inspired by the Holy Spirit to do His will. To do His will. We are it. We are that kingdom, brothers and sisters in Christ. Kingdom of God is amongst you, Jesus said in Luke 17, 21. We do not say, here it is, or there it is. I quote that. We do not say, here it is, or there it is. Because the kingdom of God is within you, or amongst you, Jesus said. We are in Christ, brothers and sisters, in Christ. We are in Christ. His kingdom is in our heart. We are in the kingdom work if we are in the business of fulfilling them by the work of God's Spirit through us, in people's lives, in relationship, to live that kind of of life is at the same time we are fulfilling the kingdom. We are, we are fulfilling the kingdom of God. It saddened me, brothers and sisters in Christ, to hear people saying, I am in God's spirit, filled by God's spirit, as they claimed, then wanting to separate themselves or separate himself from this world. It is not to detach from this world, brothers and sisters in Christ, as if the king has not, no business, no interest in this world. So the kingdom of God is amongst you. Pontius Pilate said to Jesus, So, you are a king then. You are a king. And Jesus said to him, you are right, Pontius Pilate, you are right in saying I am a king. In fact, for this reason I was born, and for this I came into the world to testify to the truth. Seems that this word is saying that Jesus is testifying that truth to Pilate, except that Pilate rejected them, rejected the truth of the kingdom of God. He heard that from Jesus instead of saying, aha, you are a king, so they should not uh, crucify you or they should not persecute you. But the way of rejecting that truth from Jesus Christ, he asked the people, who do you want me to release today? Is the king, is your king, or Barabbas? And of course, he knew already that the people choose Barabbas instead of Jesus. Kingdom of the king is already, and not yet, brothers and sisters in Christ, as we already know. Already, because we peoples are sought out to the truth of Jesus Christ in God's, we are God's workmanship, allowing the Holy Spirit to work through us. We are His vessels, we are His instruments. And yet, and also, we are, the kingdom is already in us as we are in the business of God's will and in this world, ful fulfilling, advancing, advocating, propagating the kingdom of God 
the reign of God, the dominion of God, His rulership, God's kingship. You know, when we, we stand and to say that God's truth should be visible in our midst. God's truth should, should be real in our midst, in our lives. That's kingdom of God that we are advocating, we are advancing, maybe in our community, in our family, our community, in this world, in this nation. The kingdom of God also is not yet. Kingdom of God is already and not yet. Not yet because we are not yet in the final picture of that. But our struggle for what is of God and for God, His will, His love, is one foretaste of the kingdom. <coughs> See, may, maybe we can stop the opposite of God's kingdom. Maybe there is injustice here and we stand to say, stop that. And it will stop, but tomorrow is another day. We are still advancing. We are still praying. We are still uh, fulfilling God's will until the end of time, until the final day, the final kingdom. Jesus is the king of the kingdom of the Messiah. He is the king of the kingdom of God. He is the king of the kingdom of heaven. Those who do not believe the dividing, uh, that, I'm sorry, those who do not believe that the divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ will be confused about that truth about that fact of Jesus Christ. His claim as one with the Father. They will be confused. Jesus telling us one kingdom. The kingdom of God and His kingdom. He's telling us that kingdom of heaven, kingdom of God, His kingdom, kingdom of the Messiah, is, is, He's talking about one kingdom. And He is the King. Of that kingdom. And if you are not Trinitarian, you cannot understand that how come Jesus, only man, can be that king of the kingdom of God. He is the king of that kingdom. This must be clear to us. It should be clear to our hearing. You know, Yes, it is difficult for the Mormons, the INC, the Jehovah's Witnesses, to, to, to the Muslims to understand that. But in Revelation, as, uh, as we hear today, brothers and sisters in Christ, Jesus is said, uh, revealed that to John. And John uh, recorded that. Jesus, as he is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, who is, who was, and who is to come, the Almighty, the Almighty, Jesus, the Almighty, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega, who is, who was, and is to come. Brothers and sisters in Christ, the standard of this world teaches us or our young people to be hedonists sometimes. It's hard. It's, it's, it's heartbreaking. Pleasure, pleasure seekers only to build darkness maybe in, the, in this world. Things with mammon worship or wealth worshippers only to build competition against each other political maneuvering, destroying trust, the spirit of humanity, destroying that. The kingdom of God is different from that, different from that standard of this world. If that is how the kingdom of this world are, then the kingdom of God is not like that. But make Christ our foundation, brothers and sisters in Christ, not in sectarianist terms, 
but as the source of that ultimate order of life, order of life that is uh, fleshed by, contained by God's love, forgiveness and righteousness, you know, the Alpha and the Omega is Jesus Christ, the Almighty, will lead us to eternity. Uh, in our, it will become real to us, the, the reading of the first reading. It says, His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not pass away, and His kingship is not that shall never be destroyed. And His kingship, kingship is one that shall never be destroyed. Founded in God's love, His presence. Brothers and sisters in Christ, we ourselves know that the only way to live is to be founded in Jesus Christ, His kingship, His dominion. Sometimes we feel like we have everything materially. We do not need God because we have all these technologies. We became addicted to to that material or enjoy it so much or addicted to that become dependent to the technology we worship the, 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 the technology sometimes but at the end of, the, of time brothers and sisters in Christ we only need the source of our moral sins our conscientia the, who, who created that conscience? The giver of life. The sustainer of life. The truth. And the life. Jesus Christ. The Alpha. And the Omega. This world. This world at some point. Will come to realize. That Jesus. Who is and was and is to come, the Alpha and the Omega, is the one that we need. Not the technology, but the source 